proteins are important elements of a cell. Among other things, they catalyze chemical reactions or recognize signaling substances. But how can we find the localization of proteins inside a cell? Even in high magnification by an electron microscope, we cannot see the proteins. Therefore, scientists use help from nature. In 1962, the green fluorescent protein, GFP, was first described. It is produced by a jellyfish and when excited with blue light, it fluoresces in green color. The composition of proteins is encoded in the DNA, the hereditary material in organisms. This code for GFP is known so that it can be used to add it to the code of the protein that we want to analyze. To integrate the DNA into a plant, we use agrobacteria. In nature, they live in the soil, enter plant tissue and integrate a part of their own DNA into the plant's DNA. The plant therefore forms galls in which the bacteria can spread. When we integrate the DNA of interest into the agrobacteria, we can use them to transfer this DNA to the plants. Therefore, we inject agrobacteria into leaves of a plant, for example tobacco. Here the DNA is integrated and the tobacco plant can produce a protein from the DNA code. After a few days, we can analyze the tobacco leaves with a fluorescent microscope. Here, a laser produces light with a specific wavelength and the microscope detects the fluorescence of the sample. In the leaf cells, the GFP fluoresces and shows the localization of our protein of interest. We can even see how the protein moves inside the cell. Broken to the best, been cursing out. You just laugh and stare, saying, Cut it out. All the things that I would do.